Hello everyone and welcome back to Bottle Mining and Antiques. Today we are going to be doing a montage of some of the best finds I've found on the channel. The first one we're going to be looking at is the Citro 5 cents gallon jug. If you guys want to know any more about this jug, go look at Antique Bottle Stories on YouTube. Oh, baby. Got the oh, that's beautiful. Citro the Thirst Quencher, depicting a five cents. And this is from the New Brighton PA Pottery. And I think it said Wood Brothers. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but these were some really nice bottles. And this was only a couple feet away from that Citro jug. Yep, I believe it is. Yep, 32 ounce. That's another Coca Cola soda. There he is. That's awesome. 30 ounce Coca Cola sodas from Westminster, Maryland. That's crazy. Coca Cola sodas. These are from Westminster. I was really excited about these. And I actually already have one that says Westminster Coca Cola. And this one says Ghosted Westminster up here from reusing a bottle mold, I believe. And I just think that's really cool because the other one doesn't have it. All right, guys, just pulled out probably a penny. Oh, almost dropped the phone. We'll have to clean that up when we get back. That's pretty cool. You guys aren't going to believe this. It just fell out of the top. That's got Chinese writing on it. That's crazy. After further research, I did determine that this coin was from 1752 to the year 1800. And it was from China, and it's one cash. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. I just pulled this out. This is really cool. Maybe it's hand-painted. I don't know. I thought it was a cameo at first, but I don't know. I'll give this is an absolutely gorgeous hand-painted porcelain cameo of a woman holding a man, probably sitting on a bench or a log. Here it is. 1913. And it says it's from, Ed, looks like Ed something. An absolutely amazing salt and pepper shaker souvenir glass from Atlantic City, 1913, from somebody named Ryder. The cooler part, I think, is, is you guys are seeing the one I just dug up. I dug one up about four years ago, and here's that one. Just in as good as condition, and it has it only written on one side, Ryder, Atlantic City, 1913. So I assume this would have been a salt and pepper shaker. I've been digging bottles for so long and I have never found a marble until a couple months ago. And you guys get to experience that with me and all the cool marbles I get to pull out. I don't really know anything about marbles so you guys are going to have to fill in the blank for what these are called. Everything on this shelf is something I dug up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.